Route offsets are sometimes required by traffic conflicts and sometimes by weather. A route offset is entered on the route page. Display the route page. Offsets up to 99 miles to the left or right of course may be flown by entering the offset direction and distance in the offset line. Comply with this clearance. Enter L for left followed by the offset distance. Like other route modifications, the route offset first appears as a dashed white line. Now execute the modification. The original route remains displayed and the route offset changes to a dashed magenta line. LNAV turns the airplane to intercept and fly the route offset. The CDU offset light indicates LNAV guidance is based on the route offset. The route offset extends to the last waypoint in the original route or to the beginning of an entered approach or approach transition. An FMC message appears when you are two minutes from the end of the route offset. Usually, ATC cancels an offset before this point is reached. To remove the offset and return to the original route, enter a zero into the offset line and then execute. LNAV returns the airplane to the original route. The root offset can also be removed by using the delete key to delete the offset data. Or by proceeding direct to a waypoint. Now let's look at another FMC page. Display the Fix Information page. Information about our flight plan route relative to a ground fix can be obtained using this page. Entries into the fix line must be identifiers from the navigation database. Acceptable identifiers include airports, nav aids, or waypoints. There are two fix info pages. They are the same, allowing the entry and display of two different fixes at the same time. Enter the waypoint ducky in the fix line. The fix line now displays the bearing and distance from the waypoint to your airplane. ATC wants to know when you'll be a beam ducky. Select the a beam prompt. Bearing and distance from the waypoint to the nearest point of intersection with the route are displayed. The current distance to go to the beam point and the ETA and predicted altitude at that point are also displayed. Let's use the Fix Information page to create a new route waypoint at the beam point. First, select the beam line. The beam point appears in place bearing distance format in the scratch pad. Next, display the legs page. The beam point is between Oakland 01 and Avenal 02. Enter the new waypoint after Oakland 01. Resolve the discontinuity. Make the modification active.
The new waypoint is correctly entered. Now display the fix information page again. Ducky and all related data can be removed with this prompt. Erase Ducky. To see where the expected clearance change will occur, we need to locate where the 247 degree radial of Clovis VOR crosses our route. First, enter the VOR identifier in the fixed line. These lines are used to display data for up to three specific bearings or distances from the fix. Next, enter a bearing of 247 in the first bearing distance line. Like the abeam line, the bearing distance line displays time, distance, and altitude data relative to the specified bearing or radial and your route. Before you create a route waypoint from this intersection, let's look at some other examples of bearing distance line entries. You can also display where a specific distance from the fix intercepts your route. For example, enter slash 50 in the second bearing distance line. The slash tells the FMC it's a distance. Data is displayed for the nearest point of intersection of your route with a 50 nautical mile circle around the fix. When the point of intersection moves behind the airplane, only distance data is displayed. If you enter a bearing and a distance in the same line, the data lines remain blank regardless of the relationship to your route. If the bearing line or distance circle does not intercept the route, the corresponding distance or bearing is blank. Also, the time, distance, and altitude data remain blank. Now, let's create another route waypoint using the 247 degree bearing line. Select this data to the scratch pad. Next, display the legs page. Enter the new waypoint in the correct position. Make the modification active. Finally, Remove Clovis VOR from the Fix Information page. The FMC can calculate a point along the flight plan route that is based on an entered ETA or altitude. For example, enter the desired time and the predicted ETA altitude line. Z must be included to indicate the data is a time, not an altitude. The FMC displays the distance to the point where the airplane is predicted to be at the indicated time. A green circle is displayed at that point on the flight plan route. A standard altitude or flight level entry yields a similar display. The predicted point can be removed by using the delete key to delete the predicted ETA. Or by flying past the point. Comply with the ATC clearance.
Comply with the ATC clearance. Use the Fix Information page to comply with this ATC request. Create a root waypoint of beam ICs. You plan to call dispatch 30 minutes prior to your ETA at the gate. Enter a predicted ETA of 1125. A predicted ETA is entered on the fix information page. 